All right, intro time. These gas prices got you down, or maybe your wife is spending all your money. Well, today's your lucky day, because me and Garrett are gonna talk to you about some of the things in our shop that are $25 and less, like this here. Yeah. Stay tuned. Now, one thing that you should never do in a shop is throw a chisel unless it's one of these. So we always keep very, very dull chisels on hand. Now, why would you want to keep a dull chisel in your shop? Well, they're great. Better tool than anything else for scraping glue because they do not dig in and gouge and cause tear out. So buy yourself a nice DeWalt chisel and then dull the living crap out of it. And then you got yourself a nice glue scraper that you can throw or drop. A great way to spend $25 in your shop is to buy three pencil sharpeners. Why do you need three pencil sharpeners, you might ask? Well, after you buy the first pencil sharpener, you're most likely going to lose this. After that, of course, you're going to buy a second pencil sharpener. Chances are you're gonna lose both of those as well. So inevitably, you're going to buy a third pencil sharpener. At the end of the day, you'll probably end up finding all three pencil sharpeners, but you will find that having three pencil sharpeners is the perfect amount to have in your shop. Where the put? What? 1001. 1002. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I thought these were push up blocks. Another great thing to have in your shop is a push block. But as you can see, this one, it won't stick to metal. But this one looks ordinary, but it sticks to metal. But here's one thing to consider I don't know if the magnetics in here will set off your saw stop, and I don't want to try. So I would avoid using this one until somebody does the testing for it on a saw stop, but it is really cool to have on your jointer. Always ready to go. Scotch Bright pads. When you're applying finish, you can buy the expensive pads that come and they attach to your sander and you can sand them with the orbital and buff it in or you can get the big buffer pads and buff them on there. But I find that if you just buy regular white Scotch Bright pads, cut little squares and rub them in, you get a lot for your money. These are only a few bucks and they go very far. We use them for every project that we finish with hard wax oils. Another thing that we absolutely love and use all the time is a sanding block. They're under 25 bucks. They look like this. You can attach your five inch sandpaper right to them and get a lot of hand sanding done and it helps keep your work flat. They also come in other sizes and shapes like, like this one. Jesus. You can see this used to be yellow and now it is not yellow because we use them a lot. So under 25 bucks, I would suggest getting these. They're very good and you will be glad you did it. Quality shears, under 25 bucks, but probably near 25 bucks because you want a good pair of quality ones, right? We use them all the time in our shop. We cut sandpaper sometimes to fit a rectangle pad. I cut fabric for the back of my tambour. I cut microfiber towels sometimes because I want a smaller piece. And I definitely cut scotch Bright pads every day when I'm applying finish. Because I don't want the whole thing. So definitely worth having in your shop. Get yourself a nice pair of scissors. Don't cheap out. A safety necessity for your shop is going to be a push block. And for under 25 bucks, you can get a really nice gripper push block. They are a necessity. And you can see right here, we use them so much. There used to be a green rubber pad here. And this one no longer has that green rubber pad because we use this so frequently. So highly suggested gripper push block under 25 bucks. In woodworking, precision matters. And if you're drilling holes, you wanna make sure those holes are right where you want them. And so one thing that we do to help keep those centered perfectly is we use an awl to start it. You can see here, I have a stair at all. I think this is under 25 bucks. It's probably right around there. Um, but this is a beautiful one. I like to keep it in my apron and I give myself a little poke. It helps me set my bit, get it centered. Great choice. Make sure you have an awl, helps with precision. 
Hello, I'm Garrett, fiberglass resin. I first learned about using fiberglass resin with Will in one of his workshops. I use this to fill in knots and voids in the wood. I didn't know about it until I took a shop with him. Obviously, this is a larger container. It costs more than $25, but you can definitely get this for $25 in a smaller container. So if you need a quick and simple solution to filling in knots and voids in your projects, check out fiberglass resin. The reason why we use fiberglass resin instead of epoxy or some of the other options is because that's literally ready to sand in about 15 minutes. So it keeps our workflow going. Shrink wrap, really important to have in our shop because I do a lot of bent laminations like you see here. And when I get these tiny little pieces put onto my form, I like to use these to wrap them tight and hold them in place and all together while I get the top side of the form on or I get it put into my vacuum bag. The other thing I use these for is if I have a lot of small parts and I'm batching something out and making a lot of one thing, a lot of times I'll wrap these together to keep all panels together and keep everything separate and organized. Very low cost, very helpful. Well, another thing that's under $25 is these safety glasses. You ever heard of the bourbon moth? I haven't, but he wears these glasses under $15 and they keep your eyes safe. Highly recommend safety glasses, some side protection, and you can look like a nerd. Next, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that's gonna change your life. It's called Glide Coat. Have you ever been trying to push some hardwood, maybe eight quarter or 10 quarter long piece through the jointer? And it's just kind of hard, especially if you're by yourself, you're kind of fighting it. Well, let me tell you something. Clean your beds, spray the beds with glide coat. It's going to feel like you have four people helping you run that piece through the jointer. Also works for your planer and your table saw, any cast iron surface. Buy some glide coat, it'll change your life. You ever seen one of these? Well, we were just using one the other day because when you only have one or two people in the shop, sometimes you need help lifting something up. We were working on a set of double doors, slide this underneath one of the doors, give it a little pump, it lifts it up, gets it to the height you need where you can run your screws in. Great to have. Under $25, soap finish. This is a great alternative to hard wax oils because it keeps your light woods light. So if you don't want your light woods to turn orange, this would be a good option, like with this project, for instance. Compared to the stain or the oil, I just chose the soap finish because it's a lot lighter and it's more of the color that I'm going for. I know what you're thinking. Is this the outro? Yes. Yes, it is the outro. Should you go to Amazon and buy all these awesome things we just showed you? Absolutely you should. Because they're $25, we use them every single day and they help us out in so many ways. So if this video was important to you and if you liked it, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and watch out for the next video because we've got a lot of good stuff to come. Then you let me be free. If you love me. Then you let me be free.